The last thing we'll learn how to make is cashew yogurt. The fat content in cashews makes them the perfect base for substituting non-dairy yogurt. The cashew plant originated from Brazil and made its way to East Africa and India in the 16th century. The plant is still cultivated today by hand and it has been considered a delicacy for hundreds of years. Like all nuts, cashews provide an excellent source of protein. What makes cashews unique is their abundance of copper and zinc. Just a quarter cup of cashews provides nearly 100% of the daily recommended intake of copper. Both of these minerals are important for immune function, production of antioxidant enzymes, production of energy, and neurotransmission. A kefir starter is used for the fermentation of cashew yogurt, which as you recall, kefir contains a diverse community of lactic acid producing microbiota. Research has found that this microbiota is able to directly address gut inflammation. And so by consuming this yogurt, we're able to also directly address digestive disorders. To make cashew yogurt, all we're going to need are some raw cashews, a high-speed blender, some filtered water, a little bit of water kefir for the starter, and of course, a glass jar with a cloth or paper towel cover. There's one step that you need to do when making this recipe the night before, which is take a couple cups of your raw cashews and soak them overnight in filtered water. This step reduces the phytate concentration and makes the nutrients more bioavailable. So the first step is, just as always, to sterilize your kitchen surface and any of the equipment that we'll be using. Once you have that ready, you can go ahead and take the cashews that have been soaking overnight and strain them, discarding the water and just rinse them off a little bit with filtered water. Once your cashews are ready to go, we'll go ahead and add them to your blender. We'll also add about one tablespoon of kefir starter. And then we'll blend them, just very slowly adding filtered water for the desired consistency. At this point, you can also add a little vanilla extract or sometimes I'll throw in some dried figs, but you can also just keep it plain. That way you can use it in savory dishes as well and add any of that when you eat it. After it's blended well, it's ready to be poured into a sterilized glass jar. can go ahead and we'll place a clean cloth on top, secured with a rubber band. And you'll want to set it out of direct sunlight with proper airflow for approximately 48 hours. You can always give it a taste and see if it's where you like it. If it's warm, sometimes it will be done even as little as 24 hours. Once it's finished, we will place our lid on it tightly and put it in the fridge, allowing it to cool for 24 hours before enjoying it. Fermentation is both a science and an art. It's an ancient process that has been nourishing people for thousands of years. The bacteria in our gut play so many essential functions. Simply replenishing and diversifying these populations will have far-reaching benefits for our health. I hope that you enjoy, as much as I do, watching all of your fermentation projects go to work in your kitchen.